Hello and welcome to Midwest Tech Training. I'm going to explain what a one-shot or a one-shot rising does in the PLC program. And uh, you'll see it's used in counters a lot. And one of the reasons why it's used in the counter many times is because sometimes you can get erroneous counts um, simply by the PLC scanning over and over again. Uh, essentially a one-shot ensures that you only count one time with the counter. I'll go ahead and program that here in a little bit and show you how that works. Um, but right here I have a one shot that essentially is looking at this proc sensor right here. And when the box comes up to the proc sensor for one scan or for one shot, we will unlatch the motor from running. So in other words, we'll stop the motor. And the best way to explain, I believe, a one shot is it will take a maintained input if you think of like a maintained switch or a maintained contact and essentially turns it into a momentary contact so if you watch this proc sensor even though it's true and the box is sitting here the other side of it is not energized so think of it in terms of taking a maintained contact or a maintained bit and making it a momentary bit because as you can see there's a light here I'll put two three which is this fill light, you'll see that that light is not on when it's sitting on this proc sensor and this one shot is energized. That's why I put this light here, just so you can see that the light's not on, the output's not on. And essentially, if you could actually see this happen quick enough, this light will flicker for one scan. As soon as it sees this prox, this fill light actually will come on um, for one scan and you know usually those things happen so fast you'll never actually see it happen now if I go and remove this one shot which I'll go ahead and do right now I'll just put it down here download the change and go online Now you'll see it's sitting on the prox. The light is on because now this is a maintained bit again. The one shot made it momentary. Now it's maintained. And the motor is staying unlatched now. And uh, it's forcing the motor off. And if I look at the instruction help for a one shot rising, um, tells you it's a conditional input instruction that triggers an event to occur only one time. So there's some pretty good reading here, you know, basically um, does just what I showed you and if you wanted to program a one shot, um, I'll just go ahead and delete this. So here's a counter which is a great application for a one shot. I'd recommend using one shots anytime you're programming a counter. And if you go back to the user section, bit section, is OSR. You just click that, drag it down, and it's asking for an address. You basically just need to give this an address out of the binary table. So if I were to open up the binary table, binary file, I can click any one of these I want and drag it over. It really doesn't matter. It just needs an address. And now I've added a one shot to a counter. Um, I've given it an address and now this will make certain that my counter only counts one time each time the conditions in front of it go true. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any recommendations for future videos please don't hesitate to email me. Thank you.